Hi guys, welcome to another vlog and this one's probably going to be my last vlog for a little while just because I think things are going to ramp up now that we're going back on site in, you know, a week's time. So yeah, and also this one is sort of going to be a reading vlog. I'm going to talk about the reading that I'm doing because it is the week of the Kindle Clear Out Readathon, which is hosted by Brie from In Love and Words and a whole bunch of other people. You'll have seen my TBR video that went up last Sunday. There'll be a wrap up on Monday with all of these books, which is why I'll talk a little bit about the books as I'm reading them, but I probably won't go into too much detail because I will do that in my wrap up. But one of the challenges is to, to ha do a reading vlog, so that's what I'm going to do. My dates for this readathon are going to be slightly different to the official dates. I'm still going to do it in seven days. I'm just going to do it in the time frame that best fits the way that I film and schedule and upload everything, which is Sunday to Saturday as opposed to Monday to Sunday. Not much is happening. I've filmed today. I have edited and uploaded a couple of videos. I'm doing laundry. I've got dinner on in the slow cooker for tonight. But yes, I thought while I'm uploading things and can't access Netflix or anything that involves internet, I'm going to start reading and I'm going to start reading When the Earl Met His Match by Stacey Reed, which is a historical romance. All right, so I am nearly 70% of the way through When the Earl Met His Match, which is interesting. So it's about Phoebe who is in love with her music tutor and she is the daughter of a duke so that's not good and she ends up pregnant and you find this out pretty quickly so she needs to find herself a husband quick smart and her parents are not at all helpful in this situation and she's been corresponding with this man who has put out an ad for a wife in the newspaper and she's very put out by this, so she actually spent a whole lot of time telling him that it was not a very good thing to do. And as it turns out, she's the per he is the person she goes to when she finds herself in this situation. I'm enjoying it. it I, it's probably going to be like a three and a half star read, but we'll wait and see how the uh, ending goes. Hi guys, future notes yourself. If I get out of bed early, don't go back to bed because that never ends well. So it's like well into the afternoon now and Admittedly, I didn't sleep in that long. This is what holidays do to me. But I've spent today helping to put together something for a readathon that I'm going to be helping to co-host, which is super exciting. I wasn't expecting that um, this morning and I decided to muck around with something for that. So that was great. And I got a whole bunch of review copies in the mail today. There is The Secret Life of Stars by Lisa Harvey Smith, which I'm part of a blog tour for in October. And then from Alan and Unwin, I did get two picture books. So the first one is Dog by Sean Tan, which is a short story told in verse, and it's beautiful. I've read it before, but not in this current format. And also The Barnabas Project by the Fan Brothers. So I'm very much looking forward to reading those at some point. They're all October, November releases. So they'll be going on my pile to just wait for a little while. And I think I'm going to read something for the Kindle Clear Out Readathon now. I think I'm going to read Guarding Temptation and maybe I might start something else after that. It is a little after 11 o'clock at night and we've just finished watching Return of the King, which has been a group watch along that's been going on this weekend. So we managed to do all three Lord of the Rings films over the weekend. That's been great, which means I've only read, I think I am going to attempt to read a little bit of Revelation tonight before I go to bed, but we'll uh, see how long that lasts. And I take back everything I said. I've DNF'd Revelation. I just, I can't, I can't do it. Last night, I was fully prepared to push through the book. Today, not so much. So that was one of the books that was on my TBR for the longest, on my Kindle for the longest. So I have to replace it with something else. So I'm gonna replace it with Sex Not Love by Vi Keeland because at least I know that author's work. Hi guys, so I actually finished Love Not Sex by Mike Keeland, which turned out to be delightfully entertaining for a contemporary romance. So I'm glad I got that done. Much better than trying to stew over a book that I was forcing myself to read. And I think I'm going to try and read Can't Escape Love tonight as well by Alyssa Cole. But I've also got a Zoom book launch with Jane Harper to watch tonight. Jane Harper has written The Dry, The Lost Man, Force of Nature, and her new book is The Survivors, which I really loved. So I'm very excited to be able to tune into that because I've missed a couple of the other ones. I wanted to do a specific research trip and I always try and do the research trips at quite a specific point in the writing process. So 
um, when I've kind of got the, the idea quite nailed down, but there's still enough flexibility to fill in those gaps that I know I need a bit more information on. Hi guys, so I went to the Jane Harper book launch that was really fascinating listening to her talk. I haven't heard her speak before, so yay, because I love her books. And I then finished off Can't Escape Love by Alyssa Cole, which was the book for my book with disability rep for the Kindle Clear Out Readathon. And that was really great as well. Lots of really great representation in there. Um, not only a black main character, character in a wheelchair, but also a character who is neurodiverse. So I decided not to read any more tonight. I am going to marathon a few more episodes of Criminal Minds. I'm going to work on my reading spreadsheet. I've decided to add in a series tracker and a DNF chart um, because I didn't know whether I wanted to keep my DNF books on my regular spreadsheet so I'm going to try this out instead but I did just make a really tasty dessert but it is a single serve apple crumble pie type thing with almond flour and coconut sugar and it smells delicious I cannot wait to eat it oh it's like romance books just exploded on my Kindle say hey this book isn't going to have sex in it, and you're going to be upset. Go it's away. like a content warning. We need a content <laughs> warning. <laughs> Hi, guys. So happy Wednesday. I caught the tail end of the Romance Booktuber live stream, which I think I might have put a little clip in. I think I'm going to attempt to start sorting out some of my taxes for the year, because I need to do that. That's one of the things I have to do these holidays. And I might give myself like an hour and a half, two hours to start that today. And then I'll get back to the reading. I think I want to read The Duke's Princess Bride today. So my luxury box for October turned up pretty early. So I thought I would open it here because it is a romance box. So that is the card. Okay, this is fun. So there is a choc chip cookie mix. That'll be fun to make. This time there is a French Earl Grey tea bag. I can't remember if I've got this flavor in one of these boxes before. Okay, so this month's book is The Gin O'Clock Club by Rosie Blake. That is the blurb. Uh, and anyone who's followed along for a while knows that I'm a big fan of gin. So hopefully this will be good fun. So yesterday, I can't remember if I updated you, but I did finish The Duke's Princess Bride by Emily Howard, which was really fun and really interesting. And I didn't realize that it was an own voices story. So it is about an Indian princess who has to go on the run and she ends up in a marriage well, Marriage of Convenience slash Fake Engagement with a Duke. And there's travelling on ships, there are assassin plots, and it was a lot of fun. I also managed to sneak in the September short by Katie Robert, which was the Hook and Tink little short story, which was very, very cute, and was about them discussing children and Tink and Hook's insecurities around being parents. So I really loved that. I did start, like, the first chapter of... Trouble Next Door by Stephanie London, so I will probably read that today. But yeah, I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube. I've got to edit tomorrow's video, which is going to be, I think, uh, another bookshelf tour. And yeah, but happy October. We've, we've hit October. Good morning, happy Friday. I am gonna do a little bit of reading in a little while. I've just got The Midnight Bargain to read left on my Kindle Clear Out TBR, and then maybe tomorrow I'll get to read something else from it. I don't know but this morning I had a little bit of work to do and then I decided to update my blog title header image thing I haven't done that for a while so I've done that I'll show you in a minute but I've got to do a couple of net gallery reviews and then I'm going to read so I've updated the blog header image to sort of better suit my sort of style at the moment and I'm quite happy with how the blog is looking for the most part wish me luck I'm going to attempt to clean my outdoor settings, which are currently covered in spider webs. And I hate spiders. I really hate spiders. I don't want to clean it, but I have to. Okay, so I have removed most of the cobwebs and moved the couches and some of the plants around. Good morning, everyone. It is bright and sunny outside. Maybe I will venture out today. I don't know. We shall see, but I forgot to check in yesterday, I think, because I did finish my Kindle Clear Out original TBR. So I did read The Midnight Bargain by C.L. Polk, which was another NetGalley arc that I had, which was okay. It's a fantasy romance. I think it was more YA than anything else, which, you know, was fine. To be honest, for me, nothing too 
right home about but I know that there'll be plenty of people who really like it because you have these really strong female characters who are fighting the patriarchy which I'm all for um, I just think it probably could have been a little bit tighter and it was a bit insta lovey which sometimes I like and sometimes I don't depends how it's done and this one I don't know I just found it not as believable Lots of magic in it though. I think a really interesting concept. But yeah, just not for me. I think I gave it a three out of five stars. Hi guys. So I got off my butt and I went for a walk, which is why I'm so red in the face because it's quite warm outside actually. And I actually went for a 3k walk, which I know probably doesn't sound like much, but it's taken me a while to get back up into doing longer walks. So for lots of reasons, but I did it and I went back to a walking path that I've used quite a bit in the past, but haven't done in a while. So that was quite nice. Freaked me out seeing so many people standing around outside coffee shops, but what can you do? So yeah, I'm home now. I'm going to do a little bit of reading in a while. I'm still catching up on YouTube clips. I've taken some photos that I can hopefully use on Instagram for the next couple of days, but I also thought I'd do a bit of a plant update. I haven't done that for a while, so I do have some new baby leaves on some of my plants. So yeah, let's let's take a look. So I did rearrange all of these plants ages ago. I think I may have done an update. This thing just keeps getting longer. Don't know what that's going to do. Where's the new leaf? Come on. But it does have a new leaf from the second plant that's in the pot. So this is just unfurled and it's beautiful. There's new leaves coming out on this one. This one just keeps growing anyway. I think there is a tiny baby leaf in there. You might be able to see it. Thankfully, this was my cut. These were my cuttings. This is also continuing to grow. Well, this part of it is. It's a different leaf but i'm hoping that that will continue my afternoon reading view since i cleaned everything up i suppose i should um make use of the space and hopefully the spiders won't come back quite so badly all right so i am ticking off things for the kindle clear out readathon so i have my review for when the earl met his match by Stacey reed which was one of the NetGalley arcs that I had. I've got two more that I'm hopefully going to do now. And I also updated the Read Digital Bingo board for October. So October's challenge is up from the 25th to the 31st of October. Read a spooky book, read a paranormal story, a black cover, a free choice book, part of a series, an illustrated cover, a comfort read, a book published before 2015, and an art book with an orange cover. So yeah, hopefully people... We'll get some use out of that. I should say that I did spend some time reading today. I read Bears to Keep by Crystal Wolf, which was a reverse harem story. And I also read, oh God, what was it called? This is what my brain is doing on this Saturday afternoon, not functioning. So I read Mating the Huntress by Talia Hibbert, which is a novella and the first book in the Monsters and Mates series, which is a Halloween novella with a werewolf. That was kind of fun. And entertaining. Right, so I think I'm going to end my Kindle Clear Out readathon here. I know nothing much exciting has happened this week, but I have movie night tonight, so I probably won't get a chance to finish it. And tomorrow is my last day of school holidays before I go back to work, so I need to mentally prepare for that, which will be um, interesting. We have one more week of remote teaching, and then I'm back in the classroom, which is so exciting. But uh, yeah, next week's going to be hell of a week. So this will be my last vlog for a while. I think I'm just going to go try and get back into work and sort out all of that stuff because that's going to be manic. But yeah, it was a really great week. And so thank you to Brie and all the hosts for organising it. It was good fun. I did manage to read nine books. I will talk about them in my wrap up on Monday. So stay tuned for that. It's been good. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are staying safe and healthy. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.